Yeah, for some reason the mic wasn't chosen. Hello, everyone. No, it wasn't muted. It was not chosen by one. Welcome along to Quiz Night. We are back. Uh, we got tea raids. Thank you very much, Live, for the for the um for the raids. Raid, you buggers. How are you doing? Hello, Lou. Hello, Kaon. How are you doing all? Um, yep. Lads, thank you very much for RIP Quiz Kids. We are in a new era. And as you can see. Which hand do I want to use? I want to use that hand. There's a new round as well. Suited and booted. Yeah, I've just come back from a uh, thing where I use a group at work. So where I have been doing part two has been presenting duties. So yeah, welcome along everyone. Um, how are you doing, Beef? Um, yeah, five rounds coming up as always, but we got some changes in the round. So warm up a classic TV, stay the same, 10 questions each. We're gonna break time for five minutes. Then we've got observation corner, speed quizzing and Wheel of Knowledge. We have retired the Eliminator and Rainbow Dash has now got a medal, which is good. Uh, winners will be added to the Wall of Fame. Speaking of quitting, we're gonna talk about it in just a sec because we need to have a look at how the Wall of Fame looks like. You wanna be on this wall um, with the four main rounds, Warm Up, Classic TV, Observation Corner, and the Wheel of Knowledge. That's the main wall you want to be on. But then you've got a speed quiz and leaderboard. Look at this, this year's top 10 fastest quizzes. There's not going to be a prize for this because there's only like three quizzes left. Um, <laughs> but this is how we're going to do it going forward. Um, winner will be added um, to the the speed quiz of just for for the for the prosperity of winning. Um, but it's all about the scores. So we'll explain a little bit more about speed quizzing a bit later on. But um, what we do need to do uh, talk about is the fact that we have now got no. Quiz kit. Yeah, quiz kit's gone. So what are we running on? Well, we're running on, I need to drop that button actually, that's doing my nothing. Um, <laughs> we're running on Kahoot. And if you have been around from the early days of quiz night, Kahoot's back, but I'll get it working. Anyway, um, let's just go into our first round, shall we? It's time to warm up. Okie dokie, here's how it works. You have to enter the pin to join the game. I will show you that pin in just a second. 10 multiple choice questions with, with uh, let's start. 10 multiple choice questions, each with four answers to choose from. Difficulty level is easy to medium. 20 seconds to answer each question, um, and a winner will be added to tonight's Wall of Fame. Um, so if I bring up Kahoot, you should be able to see a screen that looks something like that. How all you have to do is go to kahoot.it or download the Kahoot app. If you're watching Twitch on your mobile, you can shoot my picture down to a small size or even push it off to the side, as long as you've got something going on, as you can hear my voice right in the background. Um, your pin that you need, lose already in, is six, it, <laughs> lose ready, six, six, eight, seven, one, four. Um, preferably if you are new, I'd like you to use your um, Twitch name, please. If you're a regular, I don't mind because I know Michael Patterson, I know Lou. Um, that'd be fantastic. But it's something that I can relate to, to put your name onto the wall of fame. And how does this work? Correct answers gain your points. Wrong answers don't. Uh, the per um, what do I need to say? Correct answers gain points. Um, the quicker you answer, the more points you win. Not answering doesn't affect your scores. So if you don't know the answer, you don't need to answer. But the person with the most points at the end of the round will be declared the winner and added to tonight's wall of fame. There we go. Correct answers, gave you points, wrong answers, don't. Um, yeah, the quicker you answer, the more points you win. Not answering doesn't affect your score. Oh, come on, who put I like cheese? I can boot you, you know. Who, like, who put I like cheese? You need to be on the wall of fame. Please put my blooming name down. <laughs> oh dear. Um, <laughs> I think uh, this is why this is a trial run for the next uh, four weeks to get this all sorted. Um, yeah. So I like cheese. Yes. That's not going to affect anyone's scores, is it? But it was loud. I bet it was loud too. <laughs> um, yeah. So it's entering the, the pin 668714. And then we're going to start the quiz. Um, I don't like cheese. So it wasn't, it wasn't loud. Someone like you, someone did, someone did it. <laughs> well, whoever it was, Yabba Gold, hello Yabba Gold, how are you doing? 
We're getting the regulars here tonight. So we'll start in about 30 seconds time. I'll hit start. I'll lock it in because I've got a padlock here to lock it in. There's a lot of game to prevent more players from joining. Um, so you've got about 25 seconds to go and then we're going to start the game. So once more time, how it works, enter uh, Kahoot.it uh, or with the Kahoot app. Uh, game pin is 668714. Uh, you can scan the QR code located just to the left of my face. Left of my face. I'll give it a go and see if I like it. Haha. <laughs> Um, but the it's standard rules apply. Correct answers gain you points. Wrong answers don't. The quicker you answer, the more points you win. Not answering it doesn't affect your scores. If you don't know the answer, you don't need to answer. But the person with the most points at the end of the round will be declared the winner and added to tonight's Wall of Fame. Right, I think we've got our first set of players. If you do want to play along, you can always join with the pin. We're going to start in with joining, then Rob calls. All right, fair enough. Um, we're going to start in five, four. Three, two, one. We're gonna start. There we go. Oh, it's gone full screen. Stop. Press, press escape. There we go. Right, you should be able to see some instructions coming up on your screens because three, two, one. First question is coming up on now. And all double points, so it means we can get to the 15k uh, club. Hotel California is the 1976 album from who? The Doors, Journey, Eagles, or Leonard Skinner. Look at that. Four out of four, getting that one right. That was pretty straightforward, wasn't it? Let's let's have a look at. Oh, I can hit spacebar. I'm learning this still. Um, Lou got that right the fastest. Then Mike Patterson. Then Yabba Gold. Then I like cheese. First, second, third, and fourth. Is it a new co per round? No. Once you're in from warm up, you stay in unless I boot you. That's how that works. Uh, got no instructions, but got the questions. Well, that's why I give you the instructions. That's why I'm reading it. I'm, I'm saying it out loud. Uh, okay, question number two is coming up on your screens right now. I, I, I can build an instruction card if you want at the beginning, and then I'll, I can do that. Uh, question two is coming up on your screens right now. Question two is this. Which car company manufactured the Aventador? Is it Citroen, Bugatti, Ferrari, or Lamborghini? We've got one person answering, two people answering. Three people answering. We've got a fourth. We've got nine seconds left on the clock. There we go. Uh, correct answer is Lamborghini. Out of the four people who went for it, two of you got it right. One person went for Bugatti and one person went for Citroen. Who got that right? Um, that'll be Michael Patterson getting it right the fastest. Lou in second place. The Yabba Gold and I like cheese in third and fourth. Looks. Um, right, question number three. If you want to join, I feel like this is going to be a repetitive thing. The pin code is down there at the bottom. Uh, Kahoot.it game, game code 668714. Right, question three. Put on these screens right now. Question three is this Which of these words is incorrect? Neighbor, allegiance, favorite, color. Four people went for it. Three of you got it right with allegiance. That's spelt um, incorrect. Uh, everyone, one person go for neighbor. Unfortunately, that is correct. Uh, let's see who got that right. Michael Passons on a hot streak. Three, three answers in a row. Um, Lou getting it right. Yabagol getting it right. I like she's getting that one wrong. Okay. I, I, Lou, I think that's just force a habit from the quiz kit days. You should have the instructions on your phones. That's just, that's force a habit, isn't it? I hope you guys are enjoying this. It's, it's a work in progress, but um, it, it works. Now my head's down at this side all the time. But let's go with question four, shall we? I that one. That's nice and easy for me to read the question here because I don't even remember the answer. Double points. World of Warcraft by Blizzard Entertainment made its debut in which year? Is that 2004, 2003, 2002 or 2001? Whoa, 2004 is the correct answer. One person got that right. The difference is, I don't have the 20 seconds to, to answer the question. Uh, once everyone's answered, that's it. It's the answer's up. 2004, um, two people went for 2003. You're one year out, and one person went for 2001. Again, you're three years out. So let's see who got that right the fastest. Lou got that right. Um, Lou's on a hot streak of four correct answers in a row. 
uh, Michael Patterson, um, Yabba Gold, and I like cheese. And second, third, and fourth. Right. It's speedy. I like it. It might mean that next year's quiz might return back because I did limit warm up and classic TV. They might return to 10 questions to be confirmed. Right. Question number five. Five? Yeah, we're on four ten. Five. Um, and it's movie year. So, Interstellar, Guardians of the Galaxy, and the Grand Budapest Hotel were released in which year? Was that 2012, 2010, 2014, or 2016? Yes, I randomized the answers. Two people have answered so far. So, 2012, 2010, 2014, or 2016. Five seconds left to answer. Got to read the speed by not answering that now. There we go. Two people have answered. That's it. So two people don't know. Two people answered it. And both of you getting a great hang on. Perfect. I forgot to run on the first question. I'll do that on, on that one as well. Perfect. That's two. So we had first question, second question. Uh, two for two. Let's see who got that right. That'd be Michael Patterson and Yabba Gold. But Michael Patterson taking the lead um, for this. It's, um, five of ten. Now we can have a scoreboard all the time now as well and see how we're doing. Right. Question number six. Open up your screens right now. Question number six, and it is complete the title of this song by The Velvet Underground. Heroin chic, heroin trip, heroin blues, or heroin diaries. Now Arthur wants out. Arthur's doing his normal thing. Normal thing, normal thing. Arthur's doing his normal thing. Here he is. How many do you think? Right, we've got our answers. And it was a proper split there. Correct answers. Her Heroin Diaries. No one got the answer right. Which isn't a bad thing nowadays. No one got the answer right, which isn't a bad thing at, at these days. So I'm just going to hit space bar because that would just show the scoreboard as dead, but everyone loses their streak. Right, okay, let's go with the next question. Question number seven. Question seven is this. On this day in New York City, the first Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade is held in which year? 1924, 1927, 1930 or 1921? Yep, it's randomized. Even I randomized that one. We've got two people answer. You've got 10 seconds to go. What do we think? Three people have answered that. Um, let's see, 1924. One person got it right, two people got it wrong. Who got that right? You know, it's only Lou. Lou going up to 8,000 points. And because we don't, we can't lose points, when we hit the 15K club, they're in. Um, and it's an exclamation mark 15K, I wanna say. 15K club? I'll have to double check that. Uh, okay, question number eight. Check this, it says it at the bottom of the screen. Question eight, double points. Who is the only athlete to win Olympic gold medals in both the 100 meters and 400 meters? Jesse Owens, Carl Lewis, Michael Jordan, or Usain Bolt? Wait, you can't lose points? No, you can't lose. So if you even if you choose the wrong answer, you're not losing points. It's just tally up as many points as possible. Three of you went for it. Three of you got it. Uh, two of you got it. All of you got it wrong. It was Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is the correct answer uh, for that one. So, yeah, no one's got it right. But Lou's still in the lead on question eight. Two to go. Question nine. Bing. Um, double points. What year saw the launch of Google Chrome web browser? Was it 2012, 2008, 2014, or 2010? Michael Jordan's? <laughs> Three people went for it, got it right. 2008, got it right. Um, that's two people getting it right with 2008. And one person getting it wrong with 2012. Who got that right? That'd be Lou and Yabba Gold. So Lou is one away from the uh, 15K club. No one's gonna get into the 15K club on this round with one more question to go. Um, I think this is Lou's to win. Question 10, double points. And it's geography. The city of Bismarck is located in which US state? Montana, Nebraska, South Dakota, or North Dakota? 14 seconds to go. Two people have answered. One more to go. 
And we have our first winner at that point where we get to see a podium. Three people went for it. Two of you got it right with North Dakota. One person getting it wrong going for Nebraska, which means we have our first winner. So let's see the podium. Final podium is this. So in third place is Michael Patterson with 7,446. Uh, 7, Yabba Gold is second with 8,572. And with 12,242 points, Lou is the first winner. Um, with, one thousand, with 12,242 points. Uh, Lou, after this round, can you please go through the scoring and rules, etc., as it's different to Quiz Kit? Correct answers gain you points, wrong answers don't. The quicker you answer, the more points you win. Um, I'll try. I'll, I'll try. Well, anyway, Wall of Fame. There we go. Lou is on it. There's first person down on here. Um, so let's put the first person on here. Lou Brush 99, which means Lou goes up to 24 Wall of Fame. Um, 21 wins. So now three over Yabba Gold. Jew with 14 wins. Then it's Ellie with 10. Lada Michael Patterson with six. John of Rainbow Dash with four. Aaron Invisible, Kino Sham with three. Dr. Scott with two. Then Dan Toe, Jada, Belisa Valley, Moon Empress, Sonic Elwood, and the Noise all with a win each. Michael Patterson is coming up and saying, I've got the wrong answer. Do you know what I say to that? I don't know. There we go. Okay, let's do some explanations then. So how does it all work? This is the first week I'm doing it. So forgive me for being sluggish. Um, so quiz kit, we know, uh, has the quizzes all going on. So the maximum amount of points you can score on a 10 question quiz is 20,000 points. The maximum amount of points you can score on a five question quiz is 10,000 points. You have 20 seconds to answer each question, um, up to 20 seconds to answer each question on Warm Up and Classic TV, as well as Observation Corner. You have five seconds to answer each question on Speed Quizzing, and you have 30 seconds to answer each question on Wheel of Knowledge. Um, hopefully that, that works. I need to actually kind of make a proper video, but I have not had any time to do so because we're approaching the end of the end of year. Um, Johnson was 200 and 400, not 100 and 400. Well, give me a typo then. Give me a typo. Right. Before I go any further. T-I-P-O. Track has got a typo. 38 for the year. I'm not going to hit 68. Yes. All right. Okay. That went way too fast. I need to figure out how to, I need to figure out how to make these, uh, these slower. Anyway, it's time for round two. This will slow you down. Classic TV. Okie dokie. That was a cut away. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to cut like that. That was supposed to be a, a transition. Uh, classic TV. Standard. Our standard rules still apply in relations to the questions. We've got 10 multiple choice questions, each with three options to choose from. Question four is name the show. Question eight is item of the week. Question nine is audio time. Question 10 is guess the year. So we still got those gaps. You will need your sound up to hear these or see these, especially with item of the week. Your difficulty level is medium. You've got 20 seconds to answer each question and the winners will be added to tonight's Wall of Fame. There's the Angrier Knights from Michael Patterson. Right, let's bring up the Kahoot. I need to just um, click play again. I'm going to change the round. Find a new Kahoot. Give me one second. Um, library. Ableton. One sec. Oh crikey, this is where I've gone a bit weird because I should have had, uh, I should have dated these. I think it's, it is that one, perfect, okay. Rematch mode, no classic mode, there we go. All right, apologies about this. Uh, I'm just gonna start, I'm, I'm learning too, by the way. Um, if you're already in, you don't need to do a darn thing. So the pin code is 668714. 
and uh, we can see Yabagol, Mike B and Lou are already in. So if you'd like to join, 668714. And I can tell you a little bit about how my day's been today. Today, um, It's been a bit on the... That should be down to zero. But he's down to zero. Uh, hello, I fell asleep. <laughs> hello, Dr. Asconic. How are you doing? You're well. Um, yeah. Um, it's been a busy one. So I've been in presenter mode today because I had to stand in front of people and talk about my department's kind of things. And then I was helping to present people on the second half of the day. So yeah, it's, it's all, all been fun. Um, yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm getting the hang of this. I hope Kahoot settles in quite nicely because I'm, I'm trying to do intentional typos. Intentional typos, yep. Wake up, Rosco. Who's got to give you want to join? It's a Kahoot. It's a Kahoot. The Kahoot ID or the app. Your pin code is 668714. And after you've done that, you don't need to do anything because, um, yeah, it will then stay put as it is, which is perfect. Well, which is perfect. There we go. Anyone join in? We've got 60 seconds till we start. Does that mean we've got three people? And we could be declaring. Uh, yeah. Yes, I have two drinks. <laughs> Dr. Scottnik's in the house. He's in the house. Um, okay. Need to get a timer on, shouldn't I? I should really get my 60 second timer on. I haven't got it yet. So many things I have to do. I have to bodge everything. Quiz kit was easy. Um, once again, the rules, 20,000 points are up for grabs. 15,000 points will get to the 15K club. Um, you, it's as simple as this. Correct answers will gain your points. Wrong answers won't. The quicker you answer, the more points you ride, the, well, the more points you win. Not answering does not affect your score. So if you don't know the answer, you don't need to play. Uh, you don't need to play the question. First, with the most points, the most points at the end of the round will be declared the winner and added to tonight's Hall of Fame. But Scott Nick is a pirate penguin. Hello, Joel. Oh, two oh seven oh nine. How are you doing? Welcome along to Quiz Kit. Quiz Kit. That is a slip of the tongue. Welcome along to Class uh, Quiz Night. Uh, Classic TV and the Kahoot. Right, we're going to start in ten seconds. Nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's start the game. If you do want to join, you can always just enter this code six six eight seven one four. Let's do it. Boop. Let's start the game. And it's called us full screen again. I wish this would not go to full screen. There we go. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Let's do this. Question one. And we are looking at. Jason Sudeikis, Hannah Waddingham, and Jeremy Swift all star in which show? Ted Lasso, The Office, or Superstore? Four people answer. So, Ted Lasso, The Office, or Superstore? Uh, five of you went for it. Four out of five got it right with the uh, with Ted Lasso. One person got it wrong with The Office. Let's show the scores. Who got that right the fastest? Uh, Yabagold got that right. Mike Watson. Um, so did Mike Sam so did Dr. Scottnik, and so did Lou, right? Okay, let's go with question two. Question two is coming up on your screen right now. Question two is this. Which decades of the launch of How Clean Is Your House? Was that the 2000s, the 2010s, or the 2020s? Three people have answered so far. I like the fact that I can see how many people have answered. Um, oh, right, four people went for it, and it's a 50-50 split. Uh, two people went for 2000s, which is incorrect. 2010s is the correct answer. Um, let's see the scores. Who got that right? But Scottney got it right, so did Yabba Gold. So there we go. First and second, Michael Patterson, who not to get him that one right. So the Jeopardy's gone with no point, without losing the points, but now it's just answering fast and see how you get on. Right, okay, let's go with question number three, shall we? Question three is this. Place these shows from oldest to newest in the correct order. You get 30 seconds to do this. The movie game, 15 to 1, all clued up. So you have to place these in the correct order. Oldest to newest. 
This is a new one. I forgot about this. This is cool. I like it. And you will get dates on the next slide. So I have got dates. This is new to you. Yep, yeah, this is new to me too. Correct answer is 15 to 1 is the oldest. Then all clued up. Then the movie game. Four people went for it. Three of you got it right. One person got it wrong. And um, not even Neil did this. I can do things. Uh, let's show you the slide that puts everything into perspective in a second. Uh, but Scotnik got that right. Then you have a golden loo. Um, and my pass in third, second, third, and fourth. The Scotnik's on the street for three in a row. Let's have a look. So this is the, these are the release dates. See, I've got media now. Um, release dates. The 11th of the 1st, 1988 for 15 to 1. Uh, 17th of the 4th, 1988 all clued up. And then the 8th of June, 1988 for the move to game. I saw reactions going on down there. I saw the reactions. Um, right, okay. Well, I'm glad you like that one. Hopefully this should be um, a screenshot of a show. Yes, it is. Um, there we go. Name the show from the screenshot. So you can see us. For everyone with devices, you can all see the screenshot. Um, so you should be able to see the screenshot. So now you've had a chance to see it, I'm going to push the next button. And it will say this. Name the show from the screenshot. Is it The Office, Spin City, or Parks and Recreation? So good. This is what classic TV is all about. This is it. Um, I have had an idea of doing a reveal round as well, so I might throw up uh, an extra round in next year. Uh, but towards the end of the year, class, um, the, the quiz night stables finishing up. So five of you went for it. Four out of five got it right. Parks and Rex. One person went for Spin City. How's that affect the scores? Yabba Gold and Lou going up one. Uh, Dr. Scotland dropping down a third. Michael Patterson in fourth. And Tom win, uh, with um, five. Oh, well, with. Um, <laughs> um, in fifth with 1,226. Okie dokie. Right, let's go with question number five. And question number five is this. How many series of all creatures great and small, the original one, have been produced? 10, 7 or 13? 10, 7 or 13? There's no more blank, by the way. There's no more blank. There's just a gap. It's just a gap right there. And I will get the um, the sounds back from because I've got the original videos from when I did the um, the uh, the quiz night uh, the quiz kit vids. Oh, so I'll read that in a second when I did the quiz kit vids. I've still got that. Ew, I might get the sounds just at all three of them. <laughs> R.I.P. Blank. Hello, mind the gap. <laughs> mind the gap, please. Um, four of you went for it. I know there's so many RAPs from last last week. Seven was the correct answer. One person got it right. Uh, one person went for ten, and two people went for thirteen. So one person got it right. Well, was that one person? Um, who was that? Who got it right? Dr. Scotland jumping straight to the top of the leaderboard. There, that's a nice jump from third to first. Ooh, have we got a 15k club person coming in this time round? Blank, quiz kit, or eliminator are happy to get the, on the farm. <laughs> the farm! <laughs> or hole. Lou will like that one. Done with this sort of thing. Careful now. I've still got the soundboard. <laughs> um, right, let's have a look at the next question. Question number six, I think, seven? Uh, it says eight, it's not eight, it's question number seven. Uh, no, six. Which show would you find the character of Al Bundy? King of the Hill, Modern Family, or Married? with children. Oh, it's the polo. Yeah. We can call it the polo. <laughs> the quiz with the hole. Lou and her holes. Yeah. Uh, five people went for it. Three of you went for married with children. Well done. And two of you went for King of the Hill. Unfortunately, that's incorrect. Well done to the, um, the three who got that right. Who were the three who got that right? Let's see how it does affect the scores. Yabba Gold getting that one right. Michael Patterson as well. Um, which means Yabba Gold's first. Dr. Scotland's in second. Michael Patterson's in third. Um, Lou's in fourth. And Tom's in fifth. I can't see below fifth place, by the way. What you have on your screen is what I've got on my screen as well. So I can't actually see beyond fifth place. And I'm not paying to upgrade. I've already upgraded once. Right. 
Well, speaking of married with children, here comes your next question. What year did it debut? Did it debut in 1987, 1985, or 1989? Did it debut? Four people have answered so far. We got a fifth. We got a T. Five people answered. Three of you got it right with 1987. Two of you went for 1985. Unfortunately, you're incorrect. The three you've got that right. Ah, have a look. Yabba Gold, Michael Patterson, and Lou. Look at that. 9,000, 8,000, 7,000 points. 7,200 for, for Scott. Like, it's, everyone's, it's everyone's game at this precise moment. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's see, show you the screenshot because it's time for Ident of the Week. <laughs> I made it nasty. I don't know if the week it looks like this. What do we think? Oh, we got a reaction from someone going, Ooh. Hmm, Tom thinking about it. A blank screen, almost. By the way, uh, thanks, by the way. Sorry I missed this. <laughs> um, well done, Lou. Oh, that was the one we ever got. Okay, you've had this. A blank screen. Here's your question. Who is this item? TVS, TVAM, TSW. You've got to get the answers because once you've got the answers in, I will still show you Ident of the Week, which is good. Five seconds to go. TVS, TVAM, or TSW? Correct answer is TVS. Three of you went for TVS. Two of you went for TVAM. Which is not a TV AM, but those three who got it right, here's a present for you. There you go, have a little present with an ident of the week. Um, well done to the three who got that right. Who got that right? That'll be Tom, Lou, and Dr. Scott like Yabba Gold getting that one wrong, and Michael Patterson getting that one wrong as well. So look at the scores. Many TVs, very definitely many TVs. You're copying Ashens with your difficult question tracker. I'm not, I'm not copying, I'm just adapting. Um, copied the TBS logo, obviously. Might be a new logo in the new year. Variation of TBS. Well, I've already got a new logo, it's fine. Um, influence. Influence. Thank you, Miss Gothic. Influence. I take that. Yes, I will take an influence on there. Uh, okay, that was question eight. Um, five minutes a week. Question nine is audio time, so I should click or this button and it should just go audio time. Tonight's audio time comes from Police Squad. So before I even hit the next button, have a listen to this. We'll be back in a second. At least I can put what it is so I know exactly what I'm doing. Uh, it's Police Squad. Yeah, let's join Frank Drebin, shall we? Back in a sec. My name is Sergeant Frank Drebin, Detective Lieutenant Police Squad. A special detail of the police department. There had been a recent wave of gorgeous fashion models found naked and unconscious in laundromats on the west side. Unfortunately, I was assigned to investigate holdups of neighborhood credit unions. I was across town doing my laundry when I heard the call on the double killing. It took me 20 minutes to get there. My boss was already on the scene. Attempted hold up, Frank. Cashier's the only witness. According to her, the gunman shot the teller. She grabbed the gun and shot the hold up man. It's the same MO as the others. It could be, but this one has an interesting wrinkle. The gunman twice is a good family man with no prior record. Can I talk to her? Sure. Sally Decker, Frank. Hello, Miss Decker. 
Hello. I'm Captain Frank Drebin. I understand you've had a pretty rough time. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Cigarette? Yes, I know. Well, do you feel up to any questions? I'll try. Where were you when all this happened? I was right here at my desk working. And when was the first time you noticed something was wrong? Well, when I first heard the shot, and as I turned, Jim fell. Uh, he's a teller, Frank. But Jim Fell's a teller? No, Jim Johnson. Who's Jim Fell? Well, he's the auditor, Frank. He had the flu, so Jim filled in. Phil who? Uh, Phil did, and he's the night watchman, Frank. <laughs> the bully Phil had been here. Right, now, wait a minute. Let me get this straight. Twice came in and shot the teller and Jim Fell. No, he only shot the teller, Jim Johnson. Fell is ill. Okay, then after he shot the teller, you shot twice. No, I only shot once. Uh, twice is the hold-up man. Then I guess I did shoot twice. Well, so now you're changing your story. No, I shot twice after Jim fell. You shot twice and Jim fell? No, Jim fell first, and then I shot twice once. Well, who fired twice? Once. Now, he's the owner of the tire company, Frank. Okay. Uh, once is the owner of the tire company, and he fired twice. Then twice shot the teller once. Twice. And Jim fell, and then you fired twice. Once. Okay. All right, that'll be all for now, Miss Decker. Now, we'll need you to make a formal statement down at the station. Oh, of course. You've been very helpful. We think we know how he did it. Oh, how he couldn't have done it. He hasn't been in for weeks. Well, thank you again, Miss Decker. <laughs> weeks. Saw Weeks. He's the controller, Frank. There you go. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, the Scott Link. How dare you? There you go. <laughs> you know what for. Everyone watching this back. Hello. Join us live on 8 o'clock on, on Twitch. Um, okay. Uh, that, of course, that is so erotic. <sighs> How dare you? Jeez, the weird Scott Link. Right, here's your question. How'd you get on with that? Let's see how he did. That was fine. Actually, click on that and then click that. Right. Your question is this. What is the surname of the teller? <laughs> Evil one. Twice. Johnson. Feller. Four people have answered already. You guys are quick. What have you got? Oh, my goodness. We have... Perfect. Perfect. Question five out of five going for Johnson. Well done, all five of you. Um, let's have a look at the scores. Yabba Gold on 11,000 points. Lou in second place uh, on 11,000 points. This is a close battle between all the top four. Yabba Gold, Lou, Dr. Scottnick, and Michael Patterson. Lou's on a streak of three correct answers in a row. We all have a chance of winning, no matter what. No one will have a chance of winning. Um, Tom, I'm afraid you're a little bit far behind. And no one's going to be in the in the, um, in the 15k club, though. Since we can't lose points, you might as well play quick. I get that. Hmm. Okay, I'll take that on board. I'm, I'm, I'm. The good thing is, those of you who... Lou, five of us on a Johnson. Oh well. Done with this sort of thing. Careful now. Gosh, uh, I've just read that. Um, I'm still. You, you'll probably realise I'm still learning this. And anyone who's on my Discord, in quiz night ideas, Q and idea, oh, Q, Q and updates, please give me some feedback because I want to know what works and what doesn't. Warm up seems to fly by. I don't know what I've, I've got to change some things there. Uh, might be a new quiz package, but some things don't change. And absolutely. You're goddamn right. There we go. Right. Let's have a look at question 10. And you should have on your screens this slide, which does have the eliminator, the rest in peace eliminator, um, on the bottom bar. Um, so, Law and Order UK launches on ITV on the 23rd of February. Quest launches on the 30th of September. And Trouble ceases to broadcast on the 1st of April after 12 years. One more time. Law and Order UK launches on ITV on the 23rd of Feb. Quest launches on the 30th of September. And Trouble ceases to broadcast on the 1st of April after 12 years. 
The question is, guess the year. Guess the year. Is it 20, 2009, 2011, or 2013? The correct answer is, Correct answer is 2009. I bet Tracker's package hasn't changed though. Done with this sort of thing. Careful now. Rough with Scotland. Where the hell did that come from? <laughs> it was a three way split. Two of you went for 2013, two of you went for 2010, uh, 2011, two of you got it right for 2009. <laughs> Let's check out the podium and see who is on to who is the top. For tonight's Wall of Fame. Let's do it. In third place, Raskovov. 10,790 points is Dr. Raskotnik. In second place, Raskov 11,288 is Lou. But in first place with 13,284, it is Yabba Gold. Yabba Gold with the win there. GG's Yabba Gold. And runners up are Michael Passon and Tom in fourth and fifth. Yabba Gold though, taking the G's and the, with the G's to, um, Tonight's Wall of Fame. Um, sign up for free access to Universal Cahoots and Maps. I've already got an account. Uh, <laughs> let's go to the Wall of Fame, shall we? Tonight's Wall of Fame. And add you to tonight's Wall of Fame. Yabba Gold. There you go. Boop. So Yabba Gold, you have now just caught back up again. Um, because that is that takes you up to 19 wins. So Lou on 21. Yabba Gold on 19, Jew on 14, Ellie with 10, Lard and Michael Patterson with 6, John and Rainbow Dash with 4, Aaron Invincible and Kino with 3, Dr. Scottick with 2, then Dan Toe, J-Dub, Lisa Redding, Moon Emperor, Sonic Elwood and Noise, all with a single win each. There we go. Two names down. Yabba Gold. This seems to be your, your, um, uh, okay. This seems to be definitely your um, your remit with this. I I I I I, I can't remember what to do. I play again. Can I choose a different one? Why does that log me out? Stupid thing. Stupid bitch. Log in. Bear with me a second. It's logged me out. But who has logged me out? You're not seeing it on my screen. Uh, sorry. So that's just taken us 40 minutes to do. Hmm. That's definitely a lot faster. Than I should have been before. Uh, okay. Right, I think that's come out of the quiz. I think you all logged out of the quiz now. Anyway, um, sorry, not sorry. Yeah, uh, Yabba Gold, this is turning to you one of your favourite rounds. You've got the ad pack tonight because we're going to go for Yab pack and then I'll be back after the break for the final three rounds. What are we going to choose tonight? Actually, we're not going to have an ad break. We're not going to have an ad break. We're just going to power straight through. Sorry, we're going to power straight through because why not, eh? Um... Right, I'm gonna click it. Where are you? Observation corner. There you go. Post live. Are you ready to come with me? Big loggy out tracker asking for a new pin. Yep, yeah, I'll bring you a new pin in just a second. Classic mode start. Um, always puts the blooming sound on it, even though I've turned the sound off. See? There's no sound. Right, come with me to a little section of Tracker Towers I like to call the wrong slide. Hang on. <laughs> it should be on that one, that's why. Come with me to a little section of Tracker Towers I like to call Observation Corner. Okay, Observation Corner, it's nice and simple this. We've got a pin to enter to join the game, which I will tell you in a few minutes time. Um, you're gonna have one classic advert that we played three times. Five multiple choice questions will follow uh, with up to three options to choose from. Your difficulty level is medium 
and you get 20 seconds to answer each question. Uh, after that, the winner will be added to tonight's Wall of Fame. Now, tonight's ad, well, I can't remember what it is. I really can't remember what it is. Um, tonight's ad is... Yep, okay, that's fine. Another 90s, uh, 90s one. Does the ad play through Kahoot or just Twitch? The ad plays through Twitch, Lou. The ad will play through Twitch. So I can't play an ad through Kahoot. Um, I could, but I lose the effect of of, of, of the way it runs. So we, we, that's one thing we're going to do. So this is a time where you don't touch Kahoot. You sit down, you relax, and you watch what's on the screen. Um, so let's play it. We're going to go and get some cheese. It's time. Uh, thanks to know which one to make full screen. This one. Uh, it's time for a baby bell up. See you in a sec. Baby Bell. There we go. That's your uh, observation corner. Time to join. Um, I should really put the pin in here, shouldn't I? I should just go pin is 2039677 and pop that in the chat. I think you can join via Kahoot.it uh, or play via the Kahoot app and we'll let you guys join. Tom is in. Michael Patterson's in. Yabba Gold's in. we got some people. Um, in here, Dr. Viscotnik is in as well. So we've got some people joining now. Throughout to, to the end of the round, you won't need to hopefully won't need to change as well. Lads in, Jews in, hello, Jew, Jew puts in. Um, Tom, hello, Tom. Um, I'm hoping we had you on the board before. Uh, bot one is in. Hey, bot one. I mean, you're in bot one. Um, this reminds me of the Mr. Bean episode where he plays mini golf. Oh, it does, doesn't it? A little bit. Right, I'm going to close this in 60 seconds. Um, I know we're going to start. So, rules apply. You get up to 10,000 points. So, no one's going to be in into the 15k club. Seems to be getting the appropriate avatars with the winter outfits. They're not bad, aren't they? Um, correct answers will gain you points. Wrong answers won't. The quicker you answer, the more points you win. Not answering doesn't affect your scores. If you don't know the answer, you don't need to answer. But the person with the most points at the end of the round will be declared the winner and added to tonight's Wall of Fame. And this is a one-off that I'm wearing a suit. I'm actually just I'm actually just in suit and jeans. So, you know, it's like that. 
Okay, have we got everyone in? Um, is Lou in yet? No, Lou, I don't see you, Lou. Unless you're bot one. Who's bot one? I got self disrespect some for some reason. According to... Oh, there's Lou. Perfect. Okay. Are we ready to play? We're ready to play. Let's start this game in a three, a two, a one. Start? No, nope, because I've typed a wave on here. I'm, I'm over here. There we go. I'm with my mouse. See, my mouse is over here. Uh, to be fair, what I want to do is stop it from going full screen. The lovely music and clean contrast. Da, 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 da. It doesn't stop it from going full screen. Silly thing. Right, that's fine. All right, let's start, shall we? Um, in three, two, one. Start, and then I've got to hit escape. There we go. Okay, who by quiz night? That's me. I'm Fish Corner. First question is coming up on your screen. In one, let's go. Question one. How many cyclists are riding over the bridge at the, as the baby bell goes across? Two, four, or six? How many cyclists are riding across the bridge uh, that the baby go bell goes across? Two, four, or six? Quite well, a lot of you answering that. Seven people answered so far. Not bad. Not bad at all. Correct answer is four. Now, when I see six, that's confusing. Four is the correct answer. Um, uh, what well, six of you got that right with four one person going for six unfortunately that's incorrect let's just show the proof shall we proof of the pudding is after this we've done the scoreboard Lou getting that right the fastest but only just Michael Parsons very 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 close behind so you have a gold so is Jupiter and so is Lard All right let's show you this let's show you the score there you go the four hours pointed there there are four cyclists riding over the bridge see I even put text below Okay, question two. Here we go. Question two is this. From the camera's perspective, which way is the man running whilst overtaking the cyclists after the bridge? Is it from right to left or from left to right? Got some quick answers going round about here. Round about here, we've got some very quick answers going on. I like, actually, I like the fact that my mouse is here because then I can just point things out. Including the fact that I've got the observation corner slide on here. Seven of you went for it. Six of you got it right. We're from right to left. One person went from left to right. Unfortunately, that isn't correct. We'll show you the media. I'll click on show media. No, I'll click on the space bar uh, to show the scores first. Michael Patterson getting on right past this. Look at that. Mike, Lou, Yabba Gold, Lad, and Dr. Scottnik. First to fifth. Uh, looking good. Let's see. Right to left. Look at that arrow. It's like. Okay. <laughs> Question three. Um, hot stuff going through my streak of one. You're goddamn right. There we go. Oh, did I see a little thing come up? I didn't see that. Who, who pushed a button down there? I saw a little thing pop up down here. Tom, thumbs up. Like it, Tom. Thank you. Uh, and we Okay. And uh, Lou. <laughs> Right, let's go with question three. Question three is this. Double points. Which side of the screen is the roadworks sign as we follow the baby bell approaching a plank of wood? Hmm. Thank you. Is it on the right or the left? People are just tapping away. <laughs> right or left? You got eight seconds to go. What have we got? There we go. Everyone's done. Um. Nine of you went for it. Six of you got it right with the left. Three of you got it wrong with the right. Right with the left, wrong with the right. Okay. Uh, let's see who got that right the fastest. How does that affect the scores? Lou tops it just. Yabba Gold in second place. Michael Pats in third. Lyle in fourth. Dr. Scott in fifth. Uh, five players have reached an answer streak of three. Nice. Uh, let's see the evidence. There it is. Time is on the left. There you go. <laughs> I had to do a big, big arrow there going on the left. 
Okay, let's uh, see. Everyone, I like this reaction business on the bottom here. I like that. Right, okay. Let's go to the next question. Uh, which is this? Question seven. Well, which is question four. At the bus, as the bus pulls away from the stop, which way does it indicate to go at the junction? Left or right? As the bus pulls away from the stop, which way does it indicate to go at the junction? Left or right? Seven people have already answered. I think Observation Corner works with this map because I don't need to move away or hide my face or anything and I've just got space bars, it all works. And now I've got two versions of the Observation Corner logo. I've got the one above and the one in the picture and they're both different. Ooh, proper split there. We've got a 50-50 split. Four of you going for the left, four of you going for the right. The people who went for the left, well done, you're right. People who went for the right, unfortunately, you're left. You know what I mean. Who got the right? Yabba Gold and Dr. Scott again, I'm all right. They take the lead. Um, Lou, Michael Patterson, Lard in third, fourth, and fifth. I show the evidence. Bus is indicated to go left. There we go. Indicated to go left. See, blinkers are on. Signal is left. Michael Price is not happy with that one, but one of the cycle like reactions. Okay. And Dr. Scott has thumbs up. And Tom's in a bit of shock. Right, final question of Observation Corner. Coming up on your screens. Uh, no, she was just liking this. Um, on your screens right now. Double points. How many Baby Bell are labelled to be in the pack at the end of the advert? Four, five, or six. How many baby bell are labeled to be in the pack at the end of the advert? Four, five, or six. I'm flying through this place. We've got nine seconds to go. Uh, seven people have answered. Five seconds to go. How many have we got? The correct answer is six. There are six labeled um, for that. Um, I don't know how this works with the final one. I haven't done this before. No, this should be podium time. Um, three of you got it right with six. Four of you got it wrong with five. Let's see what happens. Oh, there we go. There are six baby bells in the pack. See, I even increased it. There we go. So you can't go, it's five tracker. It's five, not six, it's five. It's six. Do you know why? Because I'm- You're goddamn right. Exactly. So they reduced it to five over time, yeah. Okay. Um. Do subscribe for 25 months, two years of a month. Kahoot, hi. How you doing, Ju? You well? Uh, one in the way doesn't count. The label says six for Scott, Nick. Rude. How dare you? <laughs> Let's see the final scores. Let's see the podium. In third place with a grand score of 7,566 is Lard. In second place with 7,774 is Yabba Gold. But in first place with 7,794 and winner of tonight's Observation Corner, it's Lou with 7,794. With Scott Nick and Jupiter, fourth and fifth, only five on screen. Um, well done, Lou, which means we have our winner for tonight. So we're gonna go over to the Wall of Fame and do this, so tonight's Wall of Fame. Only the second time you've won tonight, Lou. So, control C and control V. There we go. But it does put, it does extend you again to three wins. So 22 for Lou, 19 for Yabagold, 14 for Jew, 10 for Ellie, uh, six for Lana and Michael Patterson, four for John and Rainbow Dash, Aaron and Kino Shan with three, Dr. Scott Nick with two, then Danto, JW, Lisa Ellen, Win Emperor, Sonic Girl with Ellen Noise, all with a win each. 20 points in it. So close. It is so close. So close. Um, it, it was, wasn't it? I'll tell you what, I'm going to go back to the Kahoot camera because you can see that, that is close. Not a bad start, really. Um, anyway, we're going to go to end of round four. Right. Um, I need to find a new Kahoot because now I'm logged in. I can check my library. Are we ready for this, folks? Are we ready for the newest round of the night? Moopsie's mad. It's time for speed quizzing.
we have some new music cues and we have this this year's top 10 fastest quizzes now thank you uh whether these top 10 quizzes will well no one's gonna get anything for this board because this is a trial run but you can see we've got a board your scores count the fastest and highest scores will will win so let's talk about what it means where's my camera where's my camera <laughs> uh do you know what i've done i need to find where's the overlay where's that overlay instructions that'll help if i put that there there that's what i want to do new music yes new music this is the unused tiebreak music i thought i'd use it for speed quizzing because it's a bit more uh, you entered the pin to join the game as standard. Five multiple choice questions with four options to choose from. It is a hard round. You only get five seconds to answer each um, each question. The highest score at the end of the round, um, the highest score in this round over the year will be the speed quizzing champion. So you will have a speed quizzing champion. There's no prize because we've only got for three weeks for next week. Be, uh, next year it'll be different it's been a kahoot so for those who haven't enjoyed again with the blooming thing this is because i've built this from scratch let's move that down to here there we go and lock it standard rules apply so we've got jew lou lard for scott neck yabba gold and michael patterson all in already if you want to join you've got 60 seconds pin again is 203 let's do it again pin 203 Nine six seven seven. It's the pin. Feel free to join. Uh, Sixty seconds. I will set in some instructions to go with this to put. If you can, if I know you, so Jew, Lou, Lard, was got Nick, Gold, Mike Patterson. I know you all, all of you. If you're new to quiz, uh, to quiz night, I bought eleven's in. Um, if you if you know your, your Twitch name, that'd be fantastic. Getting bots in. Was bot two and bot eleven. But we'll see what happens. Um, back to two FA. Yet. Right, are we ready? We're going to start this round in ten seconds. I want to wish everyone good luck. These are the former eliminator questions. So good luck, everyone. We're going to start in a five, a four, three, two, one. No, nope, it won't. It won't start if I click on on there it starts with this one right speak with you three two one here's your first question what is the smallest country in africa by land area the republic of gambia the republic of seychelles the republic of the carbo or the republic of the commerce a day i can't even read the question that fast Five seconds, I can't read the question now. The answer's that fast. Uh, one person got it right with the Seychelles. Um, two people... <laughs> Crikey. That was fast. Um, she's so slow. I know, I know. There's me thinking in my head. No, God, please, no. 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 Uh, let's see who got that right. That will be Dr. Scottnik. 818 points well done let's show you so we know the seychelles total area size of 452 kilometers squared or 175 square miles or 0.001 percent of the continent's area here you go Ooh. right we've broken into speed quizzing let's go question two good luck everyone i'm just going to read the question you have the answers on screen so i'm just going to read the question Question two is this. Who wrote the play Waiting for Godot? Or Godot? Oh, yeah. Moopsie's already eaten one bean. On to bean two. Aren't you, Moopsie? Moopsie. Yeah. Six of you went for it. Half of you got it right with Samuel Beckett. Two people went for Arthur Miller. And one person went for Eugene um, Ionesco. Who got it right? Michael Patterson this time round. So Michael Patterson now tops the board. Dr. Scott Nick's in second, Lyle in third, and Yabagol in fourth. I wish the quiz kit's reaction who's... <laughs> yeah. Um, right. Let's, uh... Right, okay. Let's, uh, 
to show you a picture. So Sammy Brackett from um, born 13th of April 1906 to 22nd of September 1989. Right. Question three. Here we go. Question three is this. Which scientist proposed the three laws of motion? This is fast. That's it. Over like that. Isaac Newton, six of you went for it. Four out of six got it right. One person went for Albert Einstein and one person went for Johannes Kepler. Oh, Isaac Newton is correct. Who got that right? Michael Patterson again. It's between Michael Patterson and Dr. Scott and admit it for the, the winning winning here. Lou in third, Lard in fourth, Jew in fifth. But yeah, Samuel Beckett born. Um 1642. Is I get that right? Anyway, there we go to the next question. I might be a typer. No, I'm a Samuel Beckett, wasn't it? Right, okay. Uh, next question coming up on your screens right now. What is the longest river in the world? Yangtze, the Nile, the Mississippi, or the Amazon? One second ago. Nile, there we go. Five seconds. This is a good round, this. I'm liking this. Uh, six of you went for it. Four of you got it right with the Nile. Two went for the Amazon. Who got that right? Michael Pats is on a streak. Uh, the Scottnik got it right as well. So the Jew, well, Jupiter's third, Lance in fourth, and Lou's in fifth. Um, let's see who. So we know the Eight River Nile running for nearly 6,700 kilometers it's from its source in Lake Victoria to its mouth in the Mediterranean. There you go, 6,700 kilometers. Nice quiz night question. Nah. Yeah, you're right. It's on there. Michael Patterson streaking, I know. How dare you? I should really do if there's a streak. You're done with this sort of thing. Careful now. Do we think we need an exclamation mark streak to trigger a um, to trigger a sound on there? <laughs> do we need that's not something we need to do, really? I'm actually writing out down ideas. The old book. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So I need exclamation mark streak. I need a sound effect that I think will be good. <laughs> okay. Final question of speed quizzing is this. Good luck, everyone. Which bird is known for its impressive memory and ability to store food? I'm just going to let you choose. Moopsie's at the end, aren't you, Moopsie? Moopsie. Perfect timing there. Five of you went for it. For the black capped chickadees. One person went for the raven, uh, but it is the black cap. It's correct. It's the answer I'm looking for. And you can see a black cap. It's a chickadee. Instead of storing energy as fat, these food catching birds have evolved to store food outside their body using memory. There you go. Does everyone like the facts as well? Does everyone like the facts on this? My time ran out before the bar ran out. Um, I'm hoping you do. Who won? Why does it say observation corner? Why does that say observation corner at the top? One sec. One sec. That should not say observation corner. I've got to. I've got to sort that out. I think I might have. I think I've copied across and I've got cloned it. Hang on. Watch what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to clone. Copy. Live editing, by the way. So I'll leave you in suspense. Base duplicate. Oh no! Oh no! Anyway, um, I'm going to delete that one. You know, the de de delete, delete, yeah, delete that. Um, I'm going to change that to instead of observation corner. Where are you, speed quiz? There you go. We've got a whole round without the speed quizzing stuff on the front. There we go. Yep, it's just like the Neil days of quizzing. Oh, it's good. Right, okay, let's do this. So let's let's say let's um let's hit space bar on here. It's time for our podium in third place with a score of 1,593 is Jupert. Jew, you want it? In second place with 2202 is Dr. Scottic Bally in first place with 2576. And the first winner of speed quizzing. It's Michael Patterson won. Congratulations uh, to all three of you, Lard and Lou, fourth and fifth. Let's go to the end of round leaderboard. And I've got some editing to do. Ah, uh, you win. You not only just win, right?
what we've got is we've got our first points on the board. So you got a score of 2,576 because I can edit this one. And guess whose name I tested this for? So we've got 2576, we've got 2202, and we've got, yeah, I still haven't found a quick way of doing this. Uh, 1593, there's our first three, and then we've got the players. To test the gap for player, I've <laughs> I deliberately used uh, Michael Patterson um, 1. As my as my gap tester. Um, second place was Doctor Scott Nick, and third place, third place was Juperella. You three are the top three. First, as as I've said, the top three scorers will qualify, and it's whoever's top with the top score at the end of the year will be the quiz will be um, speed. Quizzer champion. This year's Speed Quizzer. There's your target to beat, everyone. Michael Patson's back. <laughs> oh, well done. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. And that says Lou. Speed Quiz is not on there. Oh, hang on, 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 hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. There is one more thing to do. Sorry, Michael Patson. There is one thing I forgot to do. Anyway, CH. A A L B A T T E R S O N one. You're tonight's top speed quizzer. Now, if I go to end of round, your name's on the board. There we go. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna find a new Kahoot. I'm not gonna find a new Kahoot because I'm ready to go. And um, oopsie. oopsie. Yay! All oh, hail Oopsie. Oh, we're moving away from Boopsy because it's time to go spinny, spinny, spinny. It's time for the Wheel of Knowledge. The wheel's here. The wheel is here. And it's ready to spin. We have these five subjects left. Movies, fill in the blanks, connections, time for a typo, and scene scramble. There's a last five rounds left. So one, two, eight, nine, or ten are the ones we've got to go. And um, where's it going to land? Well, we have no idea. I've got the wheel ready to go, so I'm just going to bring the bring the volume down, nice and carefully. Get your bets in. Are you ready? Uh, where do we think one, two, eight, nine, or ten? It's time to place your bets now. As we spin the wheel, where are we going to land? One, two, eight, nine, or ten. Never goal says eight. The Scottish says ten. Lubrush says nine, but it is a Doctor of Scottish ten, which means we have, well, uh, we have seen scramble. Uh, will of knowledge. Uh, where is it? Where am I? Uh, let's see. I need to search for my own search. Uh, you can. So I'm, I'm going to show you what you can see at this precise moment. This is me searching. So this is next year's because it says to do. I haven't built it. This is this year's. So this is what we want. And we don't want rematch mode. We want classic mode. Ah, let's start the game. So that just sends everything through. So same pins apply. So if you're already in, you're fine to go. But if you'd like to rejoin, the pin is the standard 203 9677. <coughs> <laughs> We're Scotland. Rounds win. Round win. Rounds over. <laughs> so this is Scene Scramble. This is the final round, Will Knowledge. Um, I'm going to give you 60 seconds to join. Are you, for those who are regulars, and since we switched over from Quiz Kit to this, what are your thoughts? 239677. What are your thoughts? Sorry, my voice is a bit weird. I've, I've been talking all day, um, so my voice has gone a bit kahooty. What are your thoughts on this? Imagine losing. <laughs> Um, this has served well so far. Final round. Well, this is the final round. We need to extend it. I need to stretch it. 
because um, this isn't normally not not this fast. Right, how's this round gonna work? Right, so what I need to do is I need to put instruction cards on each of the beginnings of the round, so it's, it's fine. You're enjoying go No tech problems. No tech problems, peeps. Um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna explain how to do this round. Um, Lou, love it. The no losing points challenge changes the way we play, but we'll get used to it. Yeah. Thanks for pinning the. Um, thank you for pinning the, uh, the. The. Thank you for pinning the pin because I don't know how to pin. <laughs> I can do all this. I don't know how to work chat on Twitch. Um, yeah. So scene scramble beforehand on the quiz kit days. I used to say, I used to show you the slide which I will still do, and you've got A, B, C, and D. And I used to say, put um, guess which order, and you have to choose one of the four orders. Not this time. This time round, you've got the four pictures, A, B, C, and D. You have to put it in the correct order. Thank you very much, Mr. Dragon. I'll let Simba out. There we go, Simba. You have to put it in the correct order. So you have to put, uh, Dr. Scott is saying, pin this. How dare you? Um, so you have to put them in the order. So you have to drag them and drop them into the right place. So, uh, so you'll have A, B, C, and D, but you need to make sure you've got them in the right place. Okay, I think we're gonna play people going. Let's start this round in three, two, one. Let's do it and hit escape. So that's the one problem we've got is it goes full screen. Scene scramble. Two, one. Okay, here we go. So this is Mission Impossible. So we got our four scenes. So I'll, I'll still give you the time to see it like this. So you've got the four scenes. So A, it's like a square on a, a suit jacket. B, Tom Cruise running away from things. C, conference. D, blade. Uh, here we go. Right. 30 seconds each question, 3,000 points each. Oh, double points, so 6,000. So um, go for it. Place these scenes in the correct order. You got a picture of so A, B, C, and D. Um, you should have that on your screen, so you just need to place them in the right order. It randomizes for some reason. I should have put this as A, B, C, and D, but it, what I see on my screen is is different. I know the correct order. Um, there we go. The correct order is C, B, A, D. That's the correct order. No one got it right. Okay, it's gonna be one of those rounds. Um, I don't have the correct slide to do it either. So that's something I've got to work on. I'm, I'm learning. Tom's in the lead uh, with zero points. Okay. Right, let's have a look at the next one. Cool Runnings, 1993. Load me a picture, please. There we go. Great film. Um, a, carrying a bobsled. B, looking in a bobsled back. C, John Candy. D, running away from things. Okay, you ready? Place these in the correct order. Makes it a bit of a challenge this. You have to really think about it. You've got 30 seconds to do so though. 30 seconds to choose the correct order. So if you need to think about it, you can think about it. I know which order it is. Five people have answered already. Got 18 seconds to go. Seven have answered. 13 seconds to go. Correct order is... It is D, C, B, A. And we have some people getting it right. Five of you getting it wrong, but three of you getting it right. Welcome to the three you got that right. Who the three who have points on the board? That'd be Jew, Yabagold, and Lard. Uh, look at that, Yabagold and Lard. Yabagold and Lard with exactly the same score there, 1848. It does mean I need to get a tie break round some, at some point on here. Right. Well done, those three. Let's go to question number three. So question three is this. Bring up the picture. It's Iron Man 2008. Here's your pictures. So A. 
garage. B, the pose. C, the suit. D, the helmet. There we go. So, what's the correct order? Let's choose. It's over to you. You have to choose the correct order. You've got the pictures A, B, C, or D. What are we going to go with? This is totally scrambling to quite a fun round, really, isn't it? <laughs> I bet there's a lot of people thinking. No. <laughs> Right, by C's the correct order. A, B, C, D. I don't know. Michael Patterson doesn't know, but three of you do. Five of you got it wrong again, but the correct order is B, D, A, and C. And the first three people got that right. So let's see who got that right. It's only Yarragold, Lard, and Jew. Look at the scores. 3,696 down to 3,624. This is close. Uh, but Scott, like, since we don't have multiple choice, this means it can be a vary of answers. Exactly, see scrambles become a bit harder. But I think that's a good thing. Um, right. Yeah. That's why you've got 30 seconds. You have 30 seconds deliberately. A bit like that one on classic TV. You've got 30, you have 30 seconds with multiple choice questions. I want to give you a bit more time to get as many points as you can. Right, let's go with question four. Let's bring up the picture. So it's the Devil Wears Prada 2006 and your selection is this. Computer load. Thank you. Um, toothbrush. Cheers. Don't look at me. And did you fart in the elevator? That's no, toothbrush. Cheers. Don't look at me. Or did you fart on the elevator? It was already hard to begin with and not in a dirty way. Oh yeah, uh, there we go. Done with this sort of thing. Careful now. Okay. Puzzle coming up. Double points. Place these scenes in the correct order. So what order is it? I haven't seen the Devil Wears Prada. Look at Mrs. Tracker though. If Mrs. Tracker's there. <laughs> How we doing? 15 to go, six people have already answered. What order do we think these events took place in the films? Time's up. No one gonna write. The answer was A, D, C, and B, which means scores stay exactly the same. So, it's either going to be Yabba Gold, Lard, or Jew who will win this round. This has made it a bit more interesting since no, no incorrect answers don't lose your points anymore. Um, oh, well, incorrect answers will not lose your points. That's made things interesting. Right, final question. <laughs> the sequel to The Devil Wears Nada. Hey! Oh. Great job. Like that, you have a goal. Right, okay, final question. Generate Star Trek Generations 1994. 30th anniversary, a couple of days ago, actually. Um, right. A. What is that? We know it's champagne, but it could be anything. B. Don't look into the sun. C. Boom. D. Horse riding. Or broke back captains. Uh, so, A, champagne, B, don't look into the sun, C, boom, or D, broke back captains. Uh, well, that's your, that's your scenes. Uh, <laughs> I'm a Star Trek fan, come on, let's face it, I've got a D. The D is here, that's the boom one. Um, right, let's <laughs> place the order, oh dear. Um, does D even belong in the same film? Oh, dear. How dare you! Place them in the right order. Seven people have answered already. Have you just gone... I wonder how many people have got this right. Be interesting. Final round. This is the final question of the round. Uh, and it's half past nine, so we've got an hour and a half. Not sure you can show your D on Twitch tra tra tracker. Oh, Done with this sort of thing. Careful now. Oh my goodness. 
Um, one person got it absolutely spot on. A, B, C, D. D does not look even from anything. D does not look. D looks like it's not even from anything we do with Star Trek. All right, fair enough. Um, we have a winner. Let's see the final of the podium, shall we? So in third place, we have with 3642, it's La Team Maker. In second place, with 3696, it's Yabba Gold. But in first place, topping it with 5496, congratulations to Chuparella. 5496, well done. Uh, Tom and Mike Patterson, fourth and fifth. He's been genuine horse riding, he's a bit weird uh, for Star Trek. Yeah, it is. Um, Come, come for the quiz. Stay for the innuendos. <laughs> well, um, let's see tonight's Wall of Fame because we've got to get Jew on the board. And Jew goes into round four. There's Jew on there. Um, wow. So that's Lou with two, Yabagold with one, and Jew um, there as well. So that means Lou's up to 22 wins. Yabagold's on 19 wins. Jews on 15 wins. Eddie's on 10. Lard's on 6. John and uh, Lard and Michael Patterson on 6, sorry. John and Rainbow Dash on 4. Aaron Invincible, Keen or Shan with 3. Dr. Scottnik with 2. Then Dante, J Dub, Lisa Reddy, Moon Empress, Sonic Elwood, and the Noise, all with a win each. Now, I can't remember how that affects things. Uh, we have, according to my information, uh, two weeks to go. Hang on. One tension popping minute. Watch it the wheel. Give me the wheel. Right, okay. We got two weeks to go, right? You know what that means, don't you? You know exactly what that means. If I if I cross out line ten. And if I sort this out now, if I re if I save this, sorry, bear with me a second. It's only another wheel of knowledge. It's only another wheel of knowledge. One, two, eight, and nine. So we're down to movies, filling the blanks, connections, and time for a typo. We've got the time to do it. We might even get three. We might even get a triple whammy of wheel of knowledge this week. Let's do it. Let's spin that wheel, shall we, for another time. Let's go to the top. Place your bets. Now, one, two, eight, or nine. Here we go. Where are we going to go? Nine below. Um, one from a Scott Lake. Two for you have a gold. <laughs> We're still doing Kahoot, according to Potato vs. P2. We are still doing Kahoot, yes. It's going to be fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks. Let's go for a new Kahoot. Find the blank. Uh, we want fill in the... And I'll find that. Fill in the blanks. It is... What did I do? Most recent. I think it's that one. We're going to go with that one. The worst case scenario, it's the, it's the, old, uh, the other one. Right, okay. Let's, let's uh, get this on here. We'll hit start. Uh, it's not rematch mode. It's classic mode. Restart. Um, and we'll bring it in. There we go. Same pin. It's still pin. 203, 9677. I'll fill in your blanks. How dare you? Uh, who have we got? Julard. Why am I here? Lou, Dr. Scott, Nick Yamagold, and Michael Patterson. We're still there. Um, yeah, one more Kahoot. Let's get this going. Um, this one's a little bit more traditional. It's your correct answers will gain you points. Uh, the quicker you answer, the more points you win. Not answering doesn't fetch a score. The person with the most points at the end of the round will be declared the winner and added to tonight's Wall of Fame. I'm using up other things, aren't I? Just give me a minute to join, please. No worries, Potato vs. P2. You're more than welcome. Welcome to Quiz Night. First time we're running Kahoot. We used to run Quiz Kit, but now we're back on Kahoot. How do I join? Um, you go to kahoot.it or go to the Kahoot app and then you just enter the pin 
203-9677. There is a QR code on my screen if you are using a second device. Um, so it's just go to kahoot.it or with the Kahoot app, you go 203-9677. There we go. Perfect. I might have some more instructions on, I need to do an instruction video on how to do this as well. Um, if you've got a Twitch name, preferable if you use your Twitch name, because then you could be added onto tonight's Wall of Fame, um, which, well, the Wall of Fame is this. So hopefully you're there. Um, but we'll come back to this in a little bit later on. Right, okay. Are we ready? Yeah, no, maybe? Okay, let's do this. Right, we're gonna start. Amazing here, 94 is on here as well. We're gonna start in, um, Oh, Bob. Hello, Bob. <laughs> We're going to start in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Potato versus P2 is in. Let's do this. Right. It didn't shrink it down. Fill in the blanks. Okay. So, to fill in the blanks, questions one is, is as follows. It's all music based on this one. Together we are by Fern Kinney. So together we are dumb, together we are beautiful, together we are strong, or together we are free. What's the title? This is a music song. These are all music questions, the name of the song, right, with the artist. What is it? Together we are blank. Oh, so we go. It's, together we are blank. Um, dumb, beautiful, strong, or free. What do we think, peeps? Well, our first time with Kahoot, uh, peeps. I think we've done all right, haven't we? Um, or good old quiz night. Together we are beautiful is the correct answer. One person out of everyone got that right. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine people. One out of nine got that right. Let's have a look at who got that right. That'll be Yabba Gold, 1808. Nice score there, Yabba Gold. Right, okay. Let's go with uh, question number two. Is this question two? Call blank Blondie. Call them. Call again. Call us. Call me. I suspect this one might be a quite a high scoring question. I don't know why I went more in Rose there, but I did. I don't know what I said. Call me the midwife for going into Lou Brush. <laughs> Great job. That's for you, Lou. Call me. Nine out of nine. You know what that means. Perfect. Perfect question there. Nine out of nine. Everyone get that right. Who got that right the fastest? Though? Well, it's still Yabba Golden who got that right. They might pass in second, Lou in third, Lyle in fourth, and G in fifth. That's our top five. Look at that again. 1956, 1954. Oh, I should be pointing that way. 1956, 1954, and 1954. Look at that. Right. Question three. I like the fact I can space bar on this as well. Ashes to blank. David Bowie. Ashes to Ashens. Ashes to Ashes. Ashes to Ashleys. Ashes to Ashtrays. I wanted to catch you out on this one, peeps. I wanted to catch you out. Ashes to Ashens. <laughs> That's for you, Ashens. <laughs> Thought you like that one. The ashes to Ashes to Well, there we go. Ashes to Ashes, correct answer. People had to take a bit of time there. Um Perfect. It was Connick, you beep tracker. <laughs> Almost clicked ashes. <laughs> you know what? I'm a beep. You're goddamn right. You had to at least look at the question. <laughs> uh, let's see the scores. Yabba Gold's on a hot streak there. Uh, Michael Pats in second, Lion in third, Lou in fourth, and you in fifth. Those scores, second, third, fourth, and fifth, are tight. Right, okay. <laughs> question number four. <laughs> Yes, question four is this. What's the song title we got now? It is Don't Stand, Police, on a roller coaster. 
Don't stand around. Don't stand up or don't stand so close to me. <laughs> I, just, I, just, <laughs> I found the title of my episode for, 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 uh, for YouTube, haven't I? Ashes to rations is the correct answer. Don't stand so close to me is the correct answer. Another. Perfect. Well done, everyone. Don't stand on my banana. How dare you? <laughs> Don't stand up for this, peep. Done with this sort of thing. <clears throat> Careful now. Yabagold. Uh, 7668. Then Michael Patterson, Lard, um, Lou, and Jupiter. Bob's got a three answer streak as well. Bob's on the streak. We need streak. We need that streak sound Thanks for going with mark streak. I'm going to have to put that in. Um, okay. Final question of this round. And then we will do one more. I think we'll do. Oh, you're Bob. You're Bob. Nice one, Potato versus Peas. Welcome along. Um, we'll do. We will spin the wheel one more time, and then that will leave us two for next week. And then we go into a nice one for the Christmas one. Right? I'm feeling good tonight. This old shaking Stevens. This old shaking Stevens. This old mouse house hose hole. That's really evil! Am I evil? You're goddamn right. Add some flipping loot <laughs> This old hole. <laughs> Lou's liking that one. <laughs> that was a Dr. Scottie special. Uh, nine people went for it. One person went for hole. And the other eight went for house. Well done. Um, I had to go hole for the memes. <laughs> Well done, Luke. Uh, okay. Uh, Luke will be shaking the hole. Done with this sort of thing. Careful now. Oh, followed by. Oh. Right. Okay, let's see the scores, shall we? Final scores of the night. Um, no, not final scores, because we're going to spin the wheel one more time. It's this. So, let's see the podium. In third place! 7828 is La T Baker. In second place with 7836 is Michael Patterson one, but in first place with a score of 9614, it's only Yabba Gold. Yabba Gold winning there for the second time tonight. Um Jew and Dr. Visconic fourth and fifth. Well done. And we're gonna just jump straight into the Wall of Fame. Come on, that one. It's gonna be a weird one because I've never shrunk this one down before. Um, I need to actually click into this. Weird knowledge. Um, this is going to break the main scoreboard, but I don't care. Do you have a gold and then one more? <laughs> um, if it's a times two, I will just put times two next to someone. Um, you have a gold, you, you, go, you go up again to... That's one, two. So you, you now back up to two... Um, you're up to 20 wins. Jews on, uh, sorry, lose on 22. Jews on 15. This wheel's getting more and more intense, isn't it? <laughs> oh my goodness, this wheel. Oh, it's it's gonna be. It's gonna look forward to having um, some some time off in it. Really. Um, Jeez Louise, let's just cross out line 10. Oh, no, it seems Scramble was there. What was that? I was filling the blanks one. It was number two. No? That one. There we go. Okie dokes. Last spin of the wheel. You ready? Place your bets. Yeah. It's either going to be one, eight, or nine to finish tonight. I think it's going to be really interesting next week when I've got two subjects left. Lou's asked for nine. Lou's got nine. It's time for a typo, uh, which means I need to find a Kahoot and I need to type in typo. And I quite literally am typing in typo. Uh, it's that one there. Typo, typo. Uh, and it's a classic mode. And we are starting. Same pin as always. Anyone who's in can stay in. Um, so um, if you feel like you want to drop out, you may drop out. So Jupiter, Lard, why am I here? Lou, Dr. Scotland, apparently I'm hovering over you. No, that's not fine. You have a gold, Michael Pesson, and Diplomatic Squid 24. 
Uh, typo time. Yep. So last round of the night. If you're a Raider player, we'll play in 30 seconds. And then, um, well, I, I'm having a look at my timer. Yeah, we'll play in 30 seconds from now. But I want to say, Lou 2. Lou 2. Lou 2. Lou 2 Electric Boogaloo. Lou, you can't play twice. Eh? Yeah, I know. No, Lou, Lou, I know which one you are. I'm not going to have to do verification. I can set it where I need... So, I have got settings on the side. Oh, it's Potato Versus. <laughs> is, that, is that you, Potato Versus P2? <laughs> Lou's cheating. Lou's three! <laughs> We're getting people coming in with Lou's. What's going on? How dare you! <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. It could be, yeah. Don't this sort of thing. <laughs> Careful now. One loser enough. Oh my. <clears throat> it could be. <laughs> oh, right. oh, okay. Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to change some things for next week and say, if you can, please use your Twitch username uh, to do this. I do like the fact that it was called Luke. That that would be hilarious, but confusing as hell from an admin side of things. Uh, right, okay, are we ready? Uh, it's Steve's chair all over again. It really is, isn't it? <laughs> okay, we're gonna start. In um in three in two in one uh come on the news let's do this typo time let's start and we are looking at this the wheel of knowledge time for a typo round nine and um, for the final time tonight Lou United <laughs> uh which of these spellings as a typo so your spellings tonight you've got different gorgeous pleasure or separate. Different, gorgeous, pleasure, or separate. <laughs> Eight people have answered so far. This will be interesting. We'll lose win this round. Oh dear. Hey, I've even got a time for a typo slide in here. How, how, I didn't even know I did that. <laughs> Let's go with pleasure. How dare you! Uh, uh, the wrong one. That should be that Go one. with this sort of thing. Careful now. Separate's incorrect. Because that's supposed to be um, S-E-P-A-R-A-T-E. So right one. Five out of nine. Getting that one right. Which means, who is it? I mean, OG Lou is in the lead. Juice is second. Mike Pats is third. Lardy fourth. And Lou three in fifth. <laughs> so many Lou's. Okay, question two. Question two is, is it because I'm wearing a bloody suit top today? Uh, <laughs> a Lou is first. Um, oh, which one is this? Colleague, vibrant, fabulous, or courageous? Colleague, vibrant, fabulous, or courageous? This one might be a little bit more straightforward to follow. Separate. <laughs> Separate. I can hear a scone. The spelling separates S E H P E R R eight. Uh, yeah, nine of you went for it. Seven out of nine found the third L in colleague. Uh, fabulous and courageous is spelt correctly. How does that affect the scores? Juper picking that one up the fastest. Then Michael Patterson and Lars getting that right. Yabba Gold up as to fifth. Um, Oh, that's mean. I've got to put some typos in somewhere that aren't obvious. I got blue on a typo. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay, Jews in the lead, but only just by six points. Okay, question three. Well, typo number three, shall we say. Would you explain have a typo? Resilient, graceful, serenity, or definite? Six people have answered so far already. 21 seconds to go. Well played, Tracker. Thank you. You're goddamn right. I'm having a good time tonight. I hope you guys are enjoying this. 
quiz night is I, I'm loving the will of knowledge. I've got some things to change. Um Definite D E F I N I T E. Definite is that a D E F I N A T E um is the correct answer. Four nine if you went for it. Four out of nine got it right. Interesting. Um who got that right? As I fit the scores, Michael Patterson now takes the lead because Michael Patterson was faster than Jew. Um, then Jew, then Lard, Lou, and Yabagol, fourth and fifth. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Definite. Thank you, Miss Connor. Right. Question four. <laughs> Lou. Come on, Lou two and Lou three. I need you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, question four. Which of these spellings has a typo? And we are looking for mysterious, celebrate, illicit, or fascinating. Mysterious, celebrate, illicit, or fascinating. Eight of you have answered so far. And nine of you out of eight. Well, nine out of eight. No, eight out of nine. Nine of you have answered. Eight out of nine got it right with illicit. That X shouldn't be in there. One of you went for fascinating. Of course, that is incorrect. Uh, but well, it is correct, but it's still not the answer I'm looking for. Alyssa is the answer I'm looking for. That's the one that has the typo. The eight who got the right. Jupiter's on a streak. That's close. It's between Michael Patterson, Jew, and Lars. Lou can still technically win this with a perfect question. And it has to be proper. Perfect. Okay. Jew, is, uh, Jew has a streak. We need the streak, don't we? All right. Final question of tonight's quiz night. And then a quick wrap up from me, um, including something I just want to say a bit personal as well. Um, question five is this. Uh, double points. Which of these spellings has a typo? And that will be different, gorgeous, pleasure, or separate. Have I had this one already? Have I just duplicated it? There's no typos. We had this one. Well, there's your typo. Question one, this was. Well, it was bound to happen, was it? It's a brand new quiz night, and I've loaded the same question twice. And Miss Scott Nick still got it wrong. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's see the type. Let's see the typo podium. Third place was Lati Maker with 9,256. In second place with 9,508, it's Jupiter. But winning this round with 9,618, it is Michael Patterson. One. Um, going for it. Three of three. Well done um, to Michael Patterson. Let's put you onto the Wall of Fame. Oh my goodness. Um, I never thought this through, did I? Uh, because this is just the, I'm just going to put you under wall of observation corner. I know you didn't win the observation corner. I'm going to put you under observation corner and just go whoop and put uh, Michael Patterson one. Because it's going to be third again, lad. Third again. I know. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm going to chuck you guys out now. Oh, I hear that. That's bits from Jew. Excellent quizzing. Thank you very much for the for the, the for the points there. So it means Michael Patterson, you go up to seven wins. You break away from Lard. Seven wins. But at the top, 22 for Lou. 20 for Yabba Gold. It's my notes. Yeah, 22 for Lou. 20 for Yabba Gold. Uh 15 for Jew. Yep. Yeah. 21. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell goes GG's tracker. Thank you very much for the bits there, Lou. Um 20 and 21. Um yeah, so <sighs> last time round we had quiz night. Um we ended on a bit for sore up because of um because of quiz kit. Uh this time round, because of quiz night. Well, because of quiz night. Um, I need to change a couple of letters if you just bear me a second because this is uh, this is something I need to do um, because uh, I'll just explain in a second. I've lost a T. Is there a T on there? There is a T. Um, 
Okay. Our last time around on quiz night. Oh, hello. Whoa-ho! Well done for figuring Kahoot out again. Thanks for Scott Nick. Thank you. Liked it more than I thought. I don't like change. Yabba gold. Oh, I'm glad you liked it, man. I'm glad you liked it. Um, I don't like change either. I think if this had happened at the end of the year, I would have been um I would have been thinking about it. Um I'm leaving that there poignantly now. Um so last week before I finished up. Oh, hello. <laughs> Stop overtaking me. Um, I'm going to just let... I said, come on in. He's a bit cold, bless him. There we go. Uh, there we go. Last week, before I cancelled my Monday night stream because of reasons, getting ready for, um, uh, for, for this and didn't have time, um, I found out some news for one of the colleagues that I used to work with for eight years at VIEW. The person who trained me up in projection passed away from um, after an operation uh, to have a brain tumour removed. Um, he's only five or six years older than me. Um, I know him personally, I've known him personally since 2001. And um, yeah, it was, it hit me a little bit because I knew it's someone personal that I knew. And yeah, um, so that that happened um, there. So the RIP quiz kit, thanks for putting that on, Lard, for, for doing that. But I did really want to do this. Um, but uh, yeah, RIP JT. Um, thanks for getting me into the cinema industry. Thanks for making me stay there for 11 years. Um, training me up on 35 mil projections, you know. I hope, I hope you, uh, you're resting in peace, man. Right. That's, other than that, um, I didn't want to leave on a sorry note, but the sorry thing is life does go on and I'm, I'm kind of ready for this. So coming up this week, coming back to this. Uh, that's not right. Yes, it is right, actually. Next week's shows. There's no stream on Monday because Mrs. Tracker is away and she'll be coming back on um, on on Monday. But Wednesday, um, we've got the quiz night again. Um, I will refresh the rounds. We'll do double wheel knowledge, so there'll be six rounds next week. Live from 8 o'clock um, UK time. Um, and that's on twitch.tv forward slash tracker57. Uh, I'm honest there, when I saw that, I thought of another JT at first. I know which JT you were thinking of, um, but it, it, it wasn't that. So, yeah. Yeah, it, it's all right. Uh, Michael Fatson had the benefit of watching Ashen stream Kahoot last week, so knew I'd enjoy it this week. Um, went really well tonight, Tracker. Uh, well done. Thank you for that. I, I really do appreciate you guys stopping over. I didn't think it would work. There are some changes I need to make. We know that correct order works. Warm up, we're flying through. So I might need to add some correct order questions into, into there as well. But normally a two hour show, we would have powered through in an hour and a half without a break. So I've got some chicken about to do for next week. A few questions, but I think we'll be fine, won't we? Ooh, big one. Right, um, yeah. Okay. Thank you for your condo uh, for for the for the, um, the the thoughts. You know the thoughts go out to um, Gemma and Carly, the kids. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, quiz night. We'll be back next week. Until then, everyone, take care and um, see you again soon. All the rest. Thank you.